She's known as the goddess of pastry, written the Bibles of baking, and her desserts are heaven-inspired. She's Rose Barenbaum, author of The Pie and Pastry Bible, and she has the secret for the perfect flaky and tender cream cheese pie crust, a miraculous apple strudel, and a blissful lemon pucker pie. It's the Pie and Pastry Bible on Home Cooking with Amy Coleman. Home Cooking with Amy Coleman has been made possible by KitchenAid, makers of stand mixers which have been classics for generations with its sturdy, versatile attachments. Knead, whip, mix, shred, slice, and more. Nothing else says, here lives a cook, come in and sit down. KitchenAid, for the way it's made. Most people looking for good pastry go to their local bakery. But Rose Levy Barenbaum, author of the best-selling Cake Bible, is different. To find the best-selling apple strudel, she went to Austria. To find the best Danish, she went to Denmark. And for the best croissant, of course, to Paris. She's been called a scientist, a magician, even a pastry prophet. And she's with us today bringing some incredible delights from her newest book, The Pie and Pastry Bible. Welcome, Rose. Thanks, Amy. How are you? I'm great. It's great Incredible. to be here. Pie dough, three ingredients, flour, salt, water, and yet you spent two years making hundreds of variations. How yeah, come? Isn't it interesting that three little ingredients can get people into so much trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I myself never got my pie crust to work the same way twice in a row, and I thought, this, there's got to be a reason for this. Okay. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to have a pie crust that would really taste wonderful, be tender and flaky at the same time. Mm -hmm. And now, about 20 pie crusts later, <laughs> oh gosh. well, actually, it was hundreds of pie crusts later, but I have 20 pie crusts, each of which is different, and each of which is just about foolproof, that at least I can repeat okay. reliably every time. Oh, you, you <laughs> brought some of them filled mm -hmm. with incredible delectables with us today. What have well, you got Well, that is the point here? of a pie crust, to fill it with really good Cold stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a container. <laughs> this is a lemon meringue pie, everybody's favorite. Mm. This is a fresh berry tart that's baked in a tart pan and has pastry cream and piled with the best season's fresh berries. Mm -hmm. Very easy to do, obviously. Just put fresh berries in. Straight from the market, yes. Yep. This is the classic cherry oh, lattice pie. That's my favorite. My personal. This is actually an apple pie, but made in a special design. So the pastry is cut out to make leaves around it, and then the, the apples are layered in so that it looks like a giant flower. It's exquisite. It's sort of like a rose. And on the end. And that's a crostata. It's mm -hmm. just your same wonderful cream cheese butter dough mm -hmm. that is rolled out flat and filled with cranberries and walnuts, and then you just bring up the crust all around. It's the simplest thing in the world to make, and it's delicious to eat. I can't wait to be baking out of this book. What are we making today? We're making an apple strudel. That's one of the great pastries of this world. From scratch. So that'll be a, yes. that'll be a real learning experience. Isn't it really neat how that comes together? And then we're going to make something I call lemon pucker pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a le lemon curd that has meringue folded in. It's very simple, and it's baked in that same flaky, creamy, butter crust. Let's start stretching. Yeah. You ready? Here we go. It's calisthenic time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to let you take the reins here and I'm going to follow you along. You're going to start off here in our mixing bowl. Yep. And we start with just three ingredients basically for strudel dough. It's the easiest thing in the world. This is the, the flour and this is the real secret for making strudel. Mm -hmm. People are terrified of strudel because they think they're going to get holes. Right. And the strudel dough in fact won't stretch if you use bleached flour, you must use unbleached flour. And then you have the proteins that will elongate and you'll be able to stretch it from a little ball of only three inches, can you imagine? <laughs> to 48 inches. To this entire table, yeah. They say you have to be able to read a newspaper through it. Mm -hmm. But other people say love letters. Point is, it has Aww, to be that thin. That thin. <laughs> you know, the Viennese are so romantic. <laughs> I've just made a little well in the center and I'm adding a third of a cup of water. Okay, there we go and four teaspoons of oil, just neutral oil. Mm -hmm. And that helps give it its elasticity? Yeah, and it keeps it from drying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can do this by hand also. I mean, in fact, this is one dough that I was so scared of, but I discovered that you can't do wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a little dry, you'll see if it doesn't come together in a minute, we'll just add a little water. I mean, look at how this is coming together. It just works. And if you do it by hand, it only takes three minutes more. We're going to finish it by hand. You always finish kneading a strudel dough by hand because that way you know for sure if the consistency is correct. This is just about there, so I'm going to take it out. Okay. Even though there's still dr some dry parts, mm -hmm. that way you can even better visualize how it's going to look. 
that. See, we could actually, in the bowl, we could have just added a little more water. Mm -hmm. But we'll see now when we do it by hand. If you need more. If we need some, you more. need some more, I'll get you some Well, more. thank you, because this does feel a little dry. See, now this is the truth about flour. If you use the same kind of flour, in this case, remember that we're using unbleached. Unbleached. And um, a national brand of unbleached all-purpose, because in the South, some of the flours, though they're usually bleached, are... Um, or cake flour mm -hmm. in protein content. You could never make a strudel dough with that soft of flour. It would just be a holy dough. Okay. This usually takes one to two minutes. And you know how it's sticky right now, but it's coming together? Right. People always say, how do you know when you're done? And this mm -hmm. is the funny part. When you start thinking that it feels so good, you never want to stop touching it. Ah, uh, when That's it has when that, you, that yeah, velvet, silken That baby feeling. bottom, earlobe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you see, as the protein develops, it gets bouncier and bouncier. So when you reach the point where it's, it's almost there now, mm -hmm. I would do it a little bit more normally. I take it and oil it, and th this is the important part too. It has to sit for at least 30 minutes. It can sit overnight, but if you try to stretch it now, you'll see it would be very hard to pull out. Very tough. And mm -hmm. the water also has to get absorbed more evenly into it. Okay. So just put, pour a little in the bowl. Enough? Great, sure. Okay. You just need about a teaspoon or even less. Okay. Just oil it so it doesn't get all around. form that crust. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you're really in a rush, put it in the oven with a pilot light only because mm -hmm. heat also helps for things to absorb more quickly. So even though this is, has no yeast in it at all, that's almost similar to what we're it doing. It just helps to relax. Mm -hmm. And you'll see because our finished dough that mm -hmm. has been sitting for several hours is flat like a little puddle. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what relaxation does. It's like the dough had a massage and it's all ready. All right, you're on. Great. See, it's just soft and flexible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dust the counter with a little flour. And dust the top. Good little toy you have there. It's called a flour wand. Mm -hmm. You know, professional chefs kind of just go like that, toss right? Toss it on, yeah. And it's even, but I'm not a chef, so <laughs> I need help. I don't know. I, I think you get your merits. I think you get your points for being a chef. <laughs> Thank you. See, you just start about like that, so you've gotten it started. Mm -hmm. And now you lift it on your hands, just kind of like pizza dough. Yes, yes. In fact, one chef in Austria made me throw it up in the air. I won't tell you where it landed. <laughs> I Please think they were making fun of me. <laughs> the main thing is they didn't want me to be afraid, yeah. Because yes. you don't have to be afraid. Look at how you see, you can oh. be, start beginning to see through the dough and how wonderful and stretchy and mm -hmm. beautiful it is. Okay. okay, so now the next step is to take it and lay it on a table. I'm going to leave it here for a second because we want to flour the tablecloth. Okay, may I do that okay. for you? Great. Okay, I'll flour Just rub, I mean, I don't do this when I use, when I do strudel dough more often, my tablecloth is already impregnated with flour, so I don't have to even add any more. But this is a precaution so it doesn't stick. How do we do it? That's great. We'll just rub it in. Okay. And that's why it's so crisp. Mm-hmm. It's the crispest dough, and it has only about half the butter as, say, puff pastry. Oh, now we're talking. I like to hear that. But it tastes buttery and wonderful. It really does. See, it has everything going for it. You start pulling from the middle, and then pulling a little bit out from the side. The idea is that you're pulling, but you're not, if you develop holes, it doesn't matter because they're going to be so layers, they'll be covered. But you don't want to stretch by, by um, doing it any abruptly, but just very, very gradually. And at first it goes slowly, but can you believe that this piece of dough is going to cover the entire the table? The entire table. And so of course it's going to take about 20, <laughs> well, not 20 minutes, but a few minutes to do. So okay. we're going to stop for the moment. And we'll come back.